after all this sex talk, it's perfect to talk about how I had a physical encounter with Archangel Michael. Not by two years ago, or not really two years yet, but it was during the Christmas period of 2022. I was driving in the wealthier area of Houston, one of the many wealthier areas in Houston. And I was on my way from getting something for my cat when I met a stoplight. And I saw this gorgeous man with very blue eyes who was a newly minted homeless person. So he was chatting up with the guy in the cool Porsche and I saw him and I had already decided that I wanted to give someone what money I had at the time. And it was a bag full of a ton of coins, but I just really felt this need to give this bag of coins to a very special homeless person. So feeling not enough about the situation and judging myself like how dare I give a homeless person a bag of coins like what is he going to do with the coins and just like judging myself through the whole thing but also working through a lot of feelings of not enoughness, rejection, needing permission, and all the things that are in the air this time of season. I raised my glass down regardless, and I was waving at him when he got finished talking to the guy in the Porsche. He didn't see me, so I was like, okay, cool, it's fine. Maybe, you know, all the excuses people make when things don't work out. Maybe it happened for a reason, whatever. So, when once I did that, all the cars around started honking for the homeless man to look my way. And then finally someone rolled their window down and they were like, hey, she has something for you. So, he sees me. And he starts smiling and he comes running. This is the longest light I've ever been at. It felt like it was like a five minute light, okay? Um, and clearly it was divinely orchestrated to be like a five minute stoplight. So he comes to the car and he's like, hey, Merry Christmas, how are you? And like, he's really gorgeous, tan, very beautifully built, like, had everything and some L choice, bad decision, whatever the case may be, put him on the street. So, and I wouldn't be surprised if he was living in that area around the time that this happened, because you don't just end up there. So um, he's like, hey, what's up? How are you? And I'm like, I'm fine. And I'm like, bash abashedly like giving him this bag full of coins and smiling even though inside I'm kind of I'm, I'm feeling like oh my god unworthy like all of this you know insecurity and anxiety everything because I don't want him to reject my 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 pence of little measly pennies nickels and dimes and I pull out the bag and I'm like Merry Christmas sir and he is just so <laughs> elated and happy. He's like, oh my God, thank you so much, you know? And um, he's like, I wish you the best and all of this stuff. And I ask him, what's your name? And he tells me, my name is Michael. And his eyes were sparkling. And there's something that the divine does with me. They like to play with me, bruh, okay? It's like, they have a very specific look when they incarnate just for you. And 
there's something in their eyes that is always just so playful. Like, is she going to get it? Is she going to see? Is she going to realize? Is she going to recognize what's going on here? But at the time, I was just so nervous. And, you know, I like I always say, I don't care if someone has a penny and no shoes on or is dripped in graph. You're a person. I'm a person. We're all here to person. So... Looking at this man, I'm still being myself like, yo, you know, this is all I have for you. And I really hope you, you're you proud of this. You, you appreciate this. You love this. So he's really loving it. Beautiful girl smiling at him. It's Christmas. It's a lonesome period, If especially for a homeless person. Um, there's no family around. It's just you, the cold, the streets, and God. So... I ask him, I'm like, what's your name? And I hold out my hand. And he looks at my hands like, for a second, like he forgot what a handshake was. And then he quickly gathered himself. He rubbed his hands on his clothes. He's like, oh, I don't want to get you dirty or anything like that. I'm like, no, no, please. What's your name? And we shook hands. And this was during the end of COVID and all that stuff. And I didn't think about any of that till afterwards. And he was like, I'm Michael. What's your name? And I'm like, I'm Maureen. And he was like, sweetheart, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. God bless. And stay safe. So I rose up the car window as Michael walked away. And I could feel the energy surrounding that stoplight and everyone is just like what the fuck just how it was like some like wild energetic synchronicity <laughs> like happened right there and everybody's watching and it's like this whole performance that the divine put together on purpose for people to see what kindness truly is and when I left that situation I felt so good Fast forward to a few days ago, I'm just dilly-dallying, living my life, <laughs> snow whiting it up with this bitch. And that's my favorite thing to do is snow white it up with this bitch, literally just da-da-da-da-da. And then the, the impetus comes to my mind, yo, that was St. Michael. 